Keith, our guest again this morning. Hey, Toby. Hey, Cliff. Now, we're all aspiring musicians, and uh, uh, Brooks apparently played the uh, French horn, and this is French Horn Friday, so yeah. we, we, we're, we're going to get to, uh, Brooks to play a song on the French horn, and one of yours, actually, and see if you can identify the song. You ready, Brooks? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, nice. It's kind of scary, really. <laughs> Garth, I think the thing that I love so much about you uh, is your relationship with Trisha. Regardless of where you are or where she's performing, you'll fly to meet her. You'll fly home together to be with the kids. On behalf of men like me that are married and wives hear that, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, share with you, and we've done this every time you've been on, we, we've taken one of your songs, and our singer Tim has redone it. <laughs> Okay. I still got the ain't going down one, man. No? Do you? <laughs> Very cool. Okay. This is to showcase the fact that tickets go on sale for your benefit concert for flood victims in Nashville tomorrow. Don't sue us. The country world's in luck, you know that Gar's the man. <laughs> Holy mama, I'll be standing in line, hoping they don't sell down. I love you, Gar. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I got to tell you, man, uh, you know, 99% of the stuff you hear is parodies that uh, you really don't care for. But you guys' stuff is always funny, and it always makes me laugh. And you send me this stuff, and, and me and Miss Sherwood play it all the time and laugh. Hey, this is a nice surprise. Blake Shelton on the phone with us. Blake, what are you buying Miranda Lambert for Valentine's Day? What am I going to buy for Miranda Lambert, you know? I mean, she's rich. She can go buy her own freaking Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hey, who better to cover the Winter Olympics in Vancouver than my 84-year-old mother, who's put words to the Olympic theme? You ready, Mom? Oh, that, uh, yes. Okay. This is the drum part. This is the drum part. And this is the Olympic team. And you often hear, but you do not know the words. Carrie Underwood, our guest this morning. Hey, Carrie. Hi, how Hi, are good. you? Good, thanks. Hi. You're marrying a Canadian hockey player, Ottawa Senators Mike Fisher. I'm Canadian by birth. I want to find out how Canadian you are so far. <laughs> okay. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you know what a toonie is? It's a little coin that's like a $2. That's oh. right. Yeah, good for you. Wow. Okay. Where, where do uh, most Canadians get a cup of coffee? Um, Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is right. <laughs> nice. Good gonna, job. Okay, this is a really important thing. and I think Mike Mike would probably, um, he would want to know that you knew this. Can you hum the theme to Hockey Night in Canada? <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's like our national yeah. anthem. But I, I'm learning the song they always play at the game. It's the good old hockey game. <laughs> it's the best game you can name. Flip is you can tell he's a dad because there's times where he pulls examples and he goes, ah, yes, and my children, blah, 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 and he goes on. And you know he's a dad because the way he words the things about his kids. What's the weather today? Chance of rain today and, um... A uh, high. <laughs> well, why, are you, why are you sounding like an old 60s radio announcer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Well, look at Daddy. Hey! Oh! oh. <laughs> Brooks, you and Tori both get phrases wrong. <laughs> yes, we do. Heavens to Leroy. Uh, see, it's Heavens to Betsy. Uh, see? Okay. Now, Laura, you, you claim to get every single phrase wrong. How do you do that? Okay. Um, well, I, I'd like to go out on a whim here. I don't know, I don't know what? Out on a whim? Out on a whim? <laughs> out on a whim. Okay, no, it's it's uh, out on a limb. Out on a limb. Yeah, you're taking a chance. You're 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 out on a limb, like a limb of a tree. You're, it's precarious. All right. All right. Okay. You're, you're writing this down? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't put all your chickens in one basket. It's hens. Don't put all your hens. It's what? Eggs. It's eggs. Oh, eggs. Oh, eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake. Are you phrase talents too, Cliff? I think I am. <laughs> you and me, Laura, you and me. Right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, I, I, you got another one? Um, I think we got off on the wrong side of the bed. What? Um, <laughs> we got off on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> wow. That is wrong on so many levels. <laughs> no. Sense senseless survey. I don't understand what you're saying. What, what are you talking about? Questions for your country. Senseless survey. All right.
right, ready to go. Senseless questions. We just see how long we'll keep them hanging on the line. Hello? Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. My name's Cliff. I'm calling from the U.S. Senseless Bureau, wondering if you have 30 seconds, tops, to answer a couple of questions for us. Is it really only going to be 30 seconds? Yes, ma'am. That's, that's 30 seconds. That's all I'm allowed to uh, to waste. I, I don't really want to. But okay, if it's just 30 seconds. If it gets longer than 30 seconds, I'm going to hang up. All right. All right. That's, that, that's fair. Are you wearing a Viking hat? No. And what, what would your preference be, a Lush Rumba or a Rush Limbaugh? real yes how would you say you're enjoying your snuggie um i don't own one how often would you say you drag a lint roller across your face <laughs> I, I i'm sorry ma'am i've never done that is this for real this cannot be for real they are as real as the nose on heidi montag's face now when it comes to dollies do you prefer llama or or parton <laughs> I, I'm going to have to ask you to take the survey seriously, ma'am. <laughs> I can't. You just asked me some stupid questions. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been too drunk to read a restaurant menu? That, yes. That I have, yeah. And honestly, when the phone rings, do you check the caller ID to make sure it's not Mel Gibson? <laughs> oh, my God. No, but maybe I ought to. Oh, that's funny. Are you having a good time here, ma'am? This is the funniest phone call I've ever gotten. This has made my morning. I'm glad we could uh, we could entertain you, ma'am, but this is very serious. This is for your country. Now, would you consider having your, your number put on our list to be co contacted in the afterlife? If they're this good, sure. Why not? <laughs> would you sign a petition to have Justin Bieber officially deported back to Canada? No, really, really. Who is this? What, I mean, what is going on? What is this? My name's Cliff. I'm calling for the U.S. Census Bureau. Right, yeah, I know, but, I mean, you can't possibly leave the Census Bureau because, I mean, they could care less if I'm too drunk to read a menu, you know? So, I'm sorry, but... Man, I want to be... K-S-O-N with Cliff and Brooks, and we love having this guy visit San Diego. Huge fan base here. Chris Young, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Good, but pretty awesome for you. Uh, when did you find out your, your song, Man, I Want to Be, was uh, the number one song in America? I woke up Monday, as I usually do, at like crack of 11. <laughs> and uh, my phone had like exploded. Well, here's where I see the problem, Chris. As a single guy, mm -hmm. that y you release a song called Getting You Home, Little Black Dress. <laughs> and I'm thinking that you, right there, you set the expectation. <laughs> Okay. And and now you followed up with the man I want to be, basically a checklist of, of things that you, you want to be. Again, raising the bar. I, I mean, you're just setting yourself up for failure in a relationship. I've kind of, I've kind of painted myself in a corner. Uh, I mean, no, if a it, woman is taking your songs literally, you're in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Write a song Wednesday. Every Wednesday, you get to rewrite a hit by one of your favorite artists. We're starting out today with uh, the legendary Dolly Parton. If you just see my heart, don't look at my head, don't look at my clothes, don't look at my this and that. Just see my heart. Dolly said this was in the interview with you guys. Just remember, there's a brain beneath the hair. And a heart beneath the boobs. Hey, what's your suggestion? I'm more than the sum of my parts. If you'll just see my heart. If you just see my heart. Hi, this is Mayor Jerry Sanders. We have so many amazing things here in San Diego. I wish this were one of them. You're listening to Cliff and Company on KSON. Hey, Keith, we know you've been a little busy since you married Nicole, and, and it's been a little hectic. Uh, however, we want to audition to be your backup band. And we, we worked up a little number for you. Ready? Oh, man, I am so ready. Oh, my God, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. We're going to play the real thing, and, and uh, good luck with the rest of the CD, okay, my friend? Have a great day. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. Found them, my days going nowhere fast. Because with Cliff and Company.